Hi everyone, welcome back to Code Step by Step. My name is Anil. In this part of Node.js, we learn about get, delete, and put APIs. In last video, we talked about post API with the mongoose, and in that video, we created the configuration files and routes and all. And we will continue that video because if I am just going to make config file and connection again, then it will take around five to six minutes. And uh, to watch our previous video you can save five to six minutes and you will also get to know that how post api will work so what we will do in this api we will uh, create a router for get delete and put method then we will get the data from postman and after that we will write some code to delete uh, to delete get and put the data from uh, mongodb and at the last we will uh, cover some interview questions related to this video all right so now let's start with the code and uh, I am just starting with the get method. So in last video, uh, if you did not watch that, then we will just cover it a moment. We will create a config file and in that video, we will just uh, make a database connection with the MongoDB. After that, we create the MongoDB.js file. Here we will write our, uh, sorry, not that one, that one. In this file, we basically created the schemas and model. And what is schema and, and model? We will already discuss in uh, last two or three videos. So again, we are not going to discuss that thing. All right. So now let's uh, create a get method. So just put here app dot get, and uh, it have two parameters. As we know, first one for our route name. Second one is basically request and response. So what I'm going, going to do here. I will just uh, take a let and uh, what it will do it will use the product model which we are uh, just fetching from our product file dot find method and this find method will get the old data from our database and uh, this is basically written a promise that's why I am using here await and what we can do here we are just putting here async after that uh, let's simply put here response dot send and in this method we will just directly send our data and now you will find that our uh, get method is basically working so you can just simply choose here get method from list on a postman then choose the right path which is the 5000 port then list and now uh, okay so now we have to start our uh, node.js server so let's run it with the node moon send it okay so we got a error why i don't know okay just we have to put here a slash and then we can try with it again again error Okay, really sorry guys, uh, I just have to pass here two parameter, request and response. Why I am making so much mistake in this video. Uh, okay, now you can see that we are getting the data in our postman. So now let's go for the second thing which is uh, delete method. So let's copy this one so that we can save the time. Just change the route method name, change the route for delete and for delete what we can do here we can delete the data with the different ways like we can delete the data with the ids with the name and price but most probably there is a chance that we have to delete our record on the base of id in projects so what we will do here we will use here id all right so let's write the code first uh, then we will just send the data from postman so for that delete we just actually need uh, id here right and how we can we will get here through the uh, query params but keep in mind you can take her underscore id why because we sometimes we just take her id and uh, in database we have underscore id right so we always uh, just keep in mind that whenever we are just deleting with the id just just take it underscore id right after that uh, let me just uh, try to console the data so that I can show you what, are, what actually we are getting here. So how we can just access this ID? For just that, just simply put here request dot params. And now let's try to 
okay so let let me just try to delete this iphone record and i am selecting here delete method put the right path 5000 delete and now i am putting your id so now you can see that on a console we are getting here this id like this so we can just simply pass this object where we can pass here so let me just uh, copy this line paste it here and we can just simply put here delete one and in this uh, you can see that uh, uh, delete one method let's simply pass here request dot parameter because this is the combination of key and object key and value this is basically object and now you can send this data to the response right so now it it should work so now let's try to delete it i am sending this data you can see that uh, one record is deleted and whenever i'm just finding here we have only two records so with that way we can delete the record so now let's try with the last one which is uh, update so let me just change this uh, request with the put method you can put here uh, update or uh, edit route whatever you want we again need id but we just have to change this query for a moment because in update we need a uh, basically one more parameter let me just break this line in the different dif uh, this syntax in the different lines so that we can understand it easily after this uh, condition we just need to here set the data so what data we want to set on the base of this condition on base of this id we will basically uh, set some data and what data we will send set we will set data that we will send in the body of our uh, you can see that a uh, put request so just let me just select here put request and now let's say i want to update uh, this one which is uh, products let me just put this url 5000 slash update update this id right this is perfectly fine and now we want to update it so let's say i just want to update only uh, 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 i want to update only price so if you want to update more fields then you can uh, put here more fields but i want to update only price so what i will do here just go for the rows select here uh, json data and let's simply put here price and let's say price is 500 dollar right this data will be updated how we can update multiple data i will show you within a moment but first of all let's check it so in the set what we have to pass here we just uh, need to pass here uh, basically this is a dollar set and we have to pass here request dot body and it should work and we don't need here any await right we can remove it and we don't need any a sync also yep so let me just format this data for a moment okay this is crashed why because i need to check it okay because it will again take an object like this now there is a no error try to send this data we got again a error mm -hmm. maybe we just need a error await sync right so now let's try this one once more yep, now you can see that we just updated the one record let's try to just find the price this is already updated so let's say you want to update one or two or more things so let's say you want to update here name then come here just uh, add one more let me put it in manually i want to update uh, manually name of it let's say m40 pro then you can just again send it and now you will find that the name is also updated so with that way you can update more than 
uh, one fields thank you so much for watching this video if you still have any kind of confusion you can ask me in the comment video uh, in the comment of this video thank you so much